Well, what's really good? I am digital. Yes, it's been a while, brother. Yes, you know, sir. I, I, I see you back on it, though. Right. Um, you know, let's pick up where we left off at four years ago, bro. Like, you know, last time we, we, we linked up, you know, we had the first show. Right. It was a success, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, due to different, you know, everybody was doing their thing. Let's right. just say it as that. You know, everybody's working. But now y'all back. Right. All eyes on me TV. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Um, can you just talk briefly about what happened? That's what's awesome. going on? Okay. What's new? Okay. What to expect? Okay. Let's so let's, let's start off with what happened. Like, what's, what's your, your angle with that? Yeah, you know what I mean? I want to know what happened, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, er, you know, all eyes on me TV kind of disappeared for a minute. Okay. You know, let's, let's be straight. You know, let's be straight right. fact about it. You know what I mean? It disappeared for a while. What happened? You know, did you lose any inspiration on, you know, what, what happened? Well, I mean, um... First and foremost, like all eyes on me TV was always still like doing this running. It was just like a lot of e uh, excuse me, legal issues that we had to deal with and uh, things of that nature. So from the period of uh, 2011 to about this point here, it was a lot of legal things that we had to go over that I still can't actually talk about at this present time, you know. Um, but um, that's what kind of happened. And for a second, I kind of lost a little inspiration. Um, a lot of a lot of things happened to transpire in my life. Like my mother, she was diagnosed with cancer, um, so I was going through that. I was going through a period where I was uh, actually for my pre by my career, I was doing a you know job job changing. So it was just a lot of things that transpired. A lot of people that was in my corner at the time when we was doing the show was not there no more. So you know it was things of that nature that kind of you know stopped us. But you know it was mainly more so because of the legal issues. You know what I mean? And um, so I had got a, uh, I had went to see my mother at the nursing home and we was talking and she asked me about the show. And she was asking me a, a, about the show. You know, she said, what you doing to work on the show? You know, and I was telling her, you know, what was going on. And the first thing she said to me was, don't let my condition stop you from doing what it is that you have to do. I lived my life. So I sat back like, yo, ma, what's that supposed to mean? And she's like, exactly what I'm telling you. Don't stop what you passionate about because of my condition. I live my life, you do what it is you gotta do. So when she said that, it kind of gave me that like, you know, that energy booster that I needed because I was really going through a depressing stage. I sat down and called people. I called a couple of people in my corner like, you know, Don J. Uh, I called, you know, one of my other producers, Shantae, and I was like, listen, I'm ready to, to do this again. And they was all with it. They was actually happy. They was jumping for joy. They like, yo, I was waiting for you to, to say that. And um, and yeah, that's how we basically came back. You know, full throttle. I had hit them up. Then I uh, I contacted uh Marcus Banks. You know what I mean? To, uh, to ask him, you know, if he wanted to come out and be one of my uh my hosts for the show. And he was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Hands down, no problem. And then I hit Christina. And then it was just like we were back. So now, you know what I mean? The the, the original crew that kind of started and paved the All Eyes On Me TV family was back in, in motion. The only person that wasn't really was, was Marcus wasn't the original member, but you know, he was with it. And it feels like he's been here forever. You know what I mean? So, and that's how it happened. And then, uh, was it uh, September? I wanted, it was September 18th, 19th, something like that. We shot our first, which I call the revamped edition. And it was a movie, like, and from there it just kept me, you know, wanting to keep going, you know what I mean? And pretty much that's where it go from there. I hope I was able to answer everything in a nutshell, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, try, give us some insight on, like, some guests that you've had on, you know, your favorite guests, you know, which, you know, which guests maybe was the hardest to get on the show. You know, the cha just tell us the challenges about, you know, booking these artists because, you know, they busy all the time also. So, what, what strings do you be pulling to get them over here? I think, I think for myself, like, a lot of people that I've had on my show, it's never, but let me say this, it's never really been a challenge getting the artists on my show because I think I have 
a, some sort of respect in, the, in, this, in this industry so thus far that people kind of respect and gravitate to when I ask them to do, you know, my show. And um, I've never really had no, no hard times in getting anyone to be on the show. I'm trying to think, was there any, nah, you know, I never really had no, no issues. Um, because again, like I said, I think I, I've kept my name kind of clean in the, in, the, in the business and I'm, I'm a man of my word. And if anything evolves, like even with the previous episodes that we shot from 2009 up until I told you 2013, you know, we was only able to make pilots. And I made sure I contacted every artist that was on there and explained to every artist that, listen, this is what went on, you know, due to this, that. So they kind of understood and they respected it. And the first thing they say is, yo, I respect the fact that you reached out to us and let us know this. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much, that sums that up. Um, as far as the best guest I had on the show, oh man. Your most favorite, like the one that you probably gonna look back on and be like, yo, I really enjoyed having the more here. Let me see, let me see. I want to say, um, who, oh man, so many people. I, I, I think everybody, all right, I want to say, um, I want to go with, uh, I'm, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Jacque. Okay, explain, you know, explain, you know, explain people that, you know, they may not know who that is. Like, kind of Jacque, Jacque is, he's a, he's an artist from Harlem and, uh, he has so, some sort of like a, a, a different kind of style and swag when it comes to his music. He got a record called um, My Piece Is Hitting. But he's a unique person because um, he his energy when it came to the show and then after the show was what I loved about it. Like when he came on the show, he came out performing. And it was so ill because we didn't have performances being done and conducted that day. But the way he came out and just magnified the crowd with his just pre presence. You know what I mean? It was just his presence and he wasn't afraid to, to express himself and, and, and talk. And even though he cursed up a storm, but he did, made sure to apologize while he was on the set because he had came late that day. But he made sure to apologize. And even after that, we spoke after the show and he apologized and he apologized during the set and he gave us a great show and hung around when he had other things to do and took pictures with everybody. So I want to give him. Not to say that everybody else wasn't my favorite. Like, let's get that clear because I know there's going to be somebody watching this and saying, oh, what about me? But he asked me for one person. But in all, like, I think everybody was. All right, let's stop lying. Who was your least favorite? I'm playing with you. I'm playing. I'm playing. We ain't going to go there. 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 All right, nah, but definitely, um, you know, just let people know, you know, what to expect. Because, you know, we know you got the, you know, you got a show. Uh, what, what's, what's the date on that for? Uh, uh, December, December 18th. 18th, all right. You know, let people know what time the doors is open. Let them know if they still got an RSVP, if they got a chance to RSVP. Right. You know, let them know what they can do to kind of be, if they want to be a part of this, let them know what they need to do. Well, December 18th, we're shooting another episode of the revamped edition of All Eyes On Me TV. Doors open at 7 p.m. RSVP is still going on. It's not too late. But let me let you know, don't be afraid if you don't RSVP and don't come. You still could come and enjoy the show. The only reason we mainly stressing the RSVP is that way we could keep an order of who contacts us so that way we could let them know of future projects and when we're doing another episode of All Eyes On Me TV and we could just shoot you straight a text instead of going through emails because I know most of us don't look at emails. I know I don't look at emails no more. Only once in the blue moon I'll look at it and to look at it for artist submissions but for the most part I text I'm on that phone texting so that's why I put up a number for people to text but again don't be afraid if you don't RSVP or you don't RSVP on time just come join and have fun it's a free event you're gonna get to see artists that you probably been following on Instagram following on Facebook for probably some time and never got a chance to see them because you have to pay to see them but now you can come see them in the Bronx for free and get a chance to meet them and greet and take pictures and put it on the gram. So come have some fun, man. All Eyes On Me TV, December 18th. We are taping live. Come be a part of the studio audience. All right, before you go, one time, who's going to be on the show? Give them that lineup real quick. Oh, so far on the show. And like I said, this is so far because, yo, special guest surprises always seem to come this way. But we have Ron Browse. We have Tone Trump. We got Trey Pizzy. Uh, we got, uh, let me see, Ted Smooth, we have the boy Torre, and we have special performances by Cool DJ Mims, oh, excuse me, Cool Mims, apologize for that, and then we also have, uh, ABS, straight out of the Bronx, so, you know what I mean, that sums it up on who we have for that day, 
You know what I mean? And let me tell you, that lineup is amazing. You're not gonna get to see these people for free anywhere else. This, you get to see them for free. Actually talk to them up close and personal. Like, why wouldn't you wanna be here? Why? Y'all already know it's your boy, Chill Will, and you're rocking with I Am Digital. Let's get it. Swipe, a swipe, a swipe. No need to ask about the pride. No, my piece is hidden.